All right, there's so many different elements going on, and we do have a crew in Mesquite. Tom George is there. We're going to go to him in a minute, but wanted to show you this picture, uh, these aerial shots here from Chopper 13, Fast and First. They took this video a little earlier. This is the suspect's home there in Mesquite. You can see the garage door just torn off, and that's because uh, police entered to serve a warrant. They needed a search warrant to go through the home. You can see a guard outside right now. Heavy police presence there, and obviously emergency crews, not only from Mesquite, but obviously Metro as well. We are going to go out to Tom George. George, who is live there and has been there uh, for a little while now and get the latest information. Tom. Well, Dana, you mentioned all the crews on scene, and that continues to grow. Obviously, anytime you have a situation of this magnitude, you're going to have more and more jurisdictions involved. Just in the last half hour or so, we saw a caravan of maybe nine or ten what looked like federal investigators, unmarked cars, all going down this street that leads up to the cul-de-sac where Stephen Paddock lives. We've also seen uh, some other crews from uh, North Las Vegas CSI coming in. That's in addition to what we've seen from Mesquite as well as Metro, all investigating this area right Right now we're told that they had to evacuate neighbors uh, and they initially had to make sure that there were no explosives or booby traps. They were able to clear that and make sure that that was the case. But as you saw in that picture you just showed Dana, you, uh, you saw that they had to plow through the garage. But inside they say it seemed pretty normal inside. They say they did find uh, some weapons and ammo, but they wouldn't say what kind and how.